Welcome back everyone, uh, doing one of our uh, exciting jobs in the, in the spring um, is transplanting out uh, little little seedlings of, uh, in this case it's lettuce actually, uh, lettuce, little gem, lovely little compact uh, juicy sweet uh, lettuce, a cos, a cos type of lettuce and we're going to put them into these, um, these strips, these little packs of compost here which we've just filled and before we go any further I have to give it a little tap down and yeah you can see you can see that the um, the compost has, uh, has settled down there so I'm just going to put a little bit more compost along the top. You want to you try and make sure that um, any settling that will happen, and it will happen with, um, with, with compost in a, in a pack or a pot, um, better that you try and get it to settle before you put the plants in because once the plants are in you can't really add much more compost, not that easily anyway. So a little shake don't go pushing down hard on the compost because that will make it too firm and the roots won't better grow into it so it's just a case of giving it a light tap allow the compost to settle and then top up the, um, the compost so that you've got a nice pack full of compost there ready to receive these lettuce so there they are looking strong. They really need another another few weeks to kind of strengthen up before we put them outside in the garden although it's quite warm today we could still get some stormy and some cold weather so here we are in early April we're going to transplant these out into these packs just to allow them to kind of um, gain some strength and some vigour to fill out a little bit. Uh, I've got some good root growth there growing all the way to the bottom of the pot but um, if I was to put those outside now and then we had some rough weather they may not be able to take it so we gently ever so gently just tease the individual plants out there we are look so there's a perfect um, example of a nice little lettuce seedling with a good um, good root growth there a nice um, nice crop of roots so we're going to put about five strips sorry five plants per per strip so using, using, using this little dibber here to um, start off the um, the holes like this to be honest I sometimes find using my finger or a pencil equally useful and then we're just trying to, going to get those roots down the bottom of the hole and bring the compost gently around there we are lovely so we're going to do that for each of these plants here we go look didn't take me long. I'm back to using my uh, my finger in there. In go the roots. Stand the plant up. A little bit of compost. See it's settling again. So I just need a bit more compost to hold him up right there. So these will uh, these will fill out quite considerably. They're probably going to sit still for um, or appear to sit still in these uh, in these packs in these strips for. Um, uh, a week or so while they they settle in get their roots established and then we'll suddenly see that from the center of the plant we'll get two or three more really strong really strong leaves coming up here and um, you know then they're kind of telling us that they're they're ready to um, to go out into the um, into the big wide world so there we are that's our first little strip of lettuce seedlings in there okay give me a couple of minutes I'll get the rest done and then we'll see what the next step is there you go five minutes later there's our box of lettuce seedlings they I think they're likely to be feeling a little bit of shock a bit of stress we've just ripped them out of their their home and their mates there so they've got root damage they're just feeling a little bit upset about life um, so we're going to give them a drink and, and they may look worse for wear initially after uh, giving them the drink because the water is probably going to knock them flying oh let's get some water on them let that water soak in and give it another drink there we are of course the um, the water knocks them over um, but that's to be expected one last there we go. So they've had a good drink now. They may little may look a little bit uh, knocked about, but um, they will perk up. 
like I say, they've been shocked um, by the <laughs> by the treatment that they've been given. Now, rather than putting them on top, um, where they're going to be in full blast of the sun, I'm going to put them underneath here, so that um, they just got a chance to recuperate recuperate in the um, in the um, in the shade there. And uh, we'll have a look next week and see how they're looking. Here's some. Um, Here's some leaks that uh, I did uh, last week, and they were looking equally sad as the lettuce. They were they were underneath there until a day or so ago, and now they've perked up. So we're bringing them up onto the top. They've got their roots working again. They've got over the shock of being transplanted, and now they're going to grow away, so we can get those leaks in in a few weeks' time. Okay, lettuce. Good luck. Hope to see you um, bright and cheerful in, in a week's time. Hey, 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 well, there we are, just a couple of days later, and I think these boys, could be girls of course, these lettuce, they are definitely lettuce, um, are ready to go on top, they've perked up, and um, they're raring to go, so it only takes a couple of days for them to recover, and uh, I reckon it'll be about three weeks something like that before they've they've really filled out with an extra kind of five or six leaves and a lot more root growth for us to be able to um to to plant them out thanks for watching and good luck with your lettuce and your other veg